Hey everyone, it's me. And as always today, we are getting into more Disney films. This one was a request from the Mew, who has quite a list. In fact, it might take up most of the season because of all the requests that the Mew has made, which I do appreciate. So major props to the Mew. Really appreciate this. You did request that we do Aladdin. The thing is, we've already done Aladdin for this show, if you look back into our season one content, but we haven't done the, the live action Aladdin on this series yet. So I figured, why not give that a shot? And hopefully that's close to what you were looking for. Otherwise, you can look for our old episode anywhere on our Patreon, our Patreon, our Patreon, or on any of our YouTube playlists. So, anyway, let's do it! I'm gonna watch with you just like I always do With all the magic here we're keeping busy This show will bring you joy Cause I'm a massive fanboy There's just so much to see When this dude does Disney Their ship is so big Wish ours was that fancy I'd be so I'm so happy if ours was that fancy. Cause then... Why is that? Because it looks better? This boat has seen us through many a storm. It may not look like much, but it has something theirs never will. What? Wood rod and rats? <laughs> Are the children learning something, dear? It is unclear. All right, sit, children. I think it's time that I told you the story of Aladdin, the princess and the lamp. What's so special about a lamp? Oh, this is a magic lamp. Maybe if you sing. It's better when you sing. No, no, no singing. It's, it's been a long day. What's your monkey's name? Abu. Abu. The lovely monkey. That's a lovely necklace. <laughs> so where does Abu come from? Yes. Yeah. Oh. I think this belongs to me. Good day, ladies. Oh, do you have my bracelet? Sure. I'm sure I put it in here. Somewhere. Abu, did you take it? That was my mother's bracelet. You are a thief. No, no, yes, but... I'm so naive. Abu. Excuse me. Wait, 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 it's not like that. Let's go home. But Dahlia, there has to be something I can do. I was born to do more than marry some useless prince. If you had to marry a useless prince, you could certainly do worse than this one. He's tall, <laughs> handsome, and yes, he's a little dim, but you're just getting married. It's not like you have to talk to him. <laughs> For the rest of your life. I prefer that boy from the market. Can I help you? It's amazing that she even feels that way after that. You! What are you doing here? Get me now. I came back to return your bracelet. My bracelet? Where is it? On your wrist. What? Not bad. I did find your bracelet. You did not find it. You stole it. Correction, the monkey stole it. He's your monkey. He's still just a monkey. Who ordered the tea? I did. For you. Princess Jasmine. Your Majesty. Why are you being weird? <laughs> oh, I'm the princess. Yes. <laughs> I love her so much. And it is good to be in with all she is my one of my favorite comedians. And wagons of gold uh. things. Dresses for every hour of the day. <laughs> now it is time for my cat to be cleaned. Can you believe it, Abu? The most heavily guarded place in all of Agrabah. Evening. Evening. <clears throat> Evening. Guards are behind me. Hello, boys. Okay, so a few things came to my mind while I was watching this. 
For starters, the genie is a man in this version. At least, Will Smith is playing a man at the beginning who's a sailor or something with children and a wife, it appears. I never really thought about it, but the animals in these Disney movies in general, they're never necessarily regional to where they should be. Like Tangled has like a chameleon. Why would there be a chameleon in that part of the world? And in this one, I mean, some of the animals potentially, I guess. I mean, obviously camels would be totally what you'd find in these parts of the world. And yeah, you'd probably find the monkey. But I don't know about Iago, and I don't know about the tiger. Maybe I'm mistaken. I'm not, I'm not like an expert on this by any means. But I do know that all three of the animals that they use in this film also are the types of animals you'd find in a rainforest. And this is the furthest thing from rainforest. So, I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure they all make sense. Iago seems like a stretch, but either way, it's a Disney movie. It's what you get. All right, let's keep going. Where am I? In a world of trouble, boy. That bracelet, is that what this is about? Because I didn't steal it. The handmaid. What was a handmaid doing wearing the queen's bracelet? The queen? No, no, she said that it belonged to her. Mother, well, at least she told the truth about one thing. Are you saying that was the princess? I can make you rich. Rich enough to impress a princess. But nothing comes for free. What would I have to do? There's a cave nearby. And in it, a simple oil lamp. Here we go. Retrieve it for me and I will make you wealthy enough to impress a princess. This is a magic carpet. These really do exist. Hello, carpet. Yeah, I don't know if we saw Abu with the lamp, but it's fine. It's a... I wish... I almost wish that Aladdin were dead and that there were no lamp, just so that... this guy would get his comeuppance there, you know. Screw you for that. It's fine. We like the narrative. We thank like the story. Carpet. Indeed. Thank you, Carpet. Abu. I wish that he had rubbed it more like he was cleaning it off, because that's how I thought it went about in the uh, animated one. This one felt a little more like, oh, we got to do this. one who summons me. Terrible one who commands me. I stand by my oath. Excuse me, boy, where's your boss? Help me out here, where's your boss? If I was gonna talk to myself, I could've just stayed in the lamp. I am a genie. You get three wishes, they must begin with rubbing the lamp and saying, I wish, got it? I think so. So, what's your first wish? Mm, well, I wish for you to get us out of this cave. Oh yeah! The visuals are fun. It's weird how they make it work. I wish. Lamp. Oh, sorry. <sighs> All right. Genie, I wish to become a prince. Back up, boy. I need some room to work. I'm about to fabulize you. Genie? Ten regular 
That city hasn't seen entertainment like that in maybe ever. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I think the only thoughts I have are mostly on how Jafar has more of a, like, personal connection with Aladdin here, whereas in the animated feature, he's just more, like, forcing him into it and do the thing, ha, ha, ha. So I got to give this Jafar some props because... You know, he's like, I used to be a petty thief and I used to have all this and I used to be just like you, but then I, I changed. And then he tells him, like, literally giving him all the motivation he needs to be like, you could become the very thing you're looking for. That being said, since Jafar tells him that, it is a little silly that Aladdin takes his time to figure out exactly what he wants to, you know, wish for because it was already given to him. So in, in, in some respects, I find it to be stronger. In other respects, I find it to not work as well. If I were writing this, I would be like, well, didn't he already give that to him? But sure, okay, fine. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say that on that. So let's keep moving along, shall we? Where are they? Relax. What is taking so long? Here comes the man. It's a pleasure to welcome you to Agrabah, Prince Elliot. It's just as much a pleasure for me, your highness, sir. You look very serene. That's a curtsy, not a bow. You will get the chance to speak again. We hope you can join us tonight, Prince Ali, when we celebrate our harvest. Of course. <laughs> your serene self. Oh, God. We just... will join you. Don't move. I just came back because you left How so... How did you get there? Magic carpet? <laughs> Actually, I'm glad you were here. You are? I've been trying to find a babwa, but it doesn't seem to be on any of my maps. Care to show me? I'd love to. Did I go too far with the backflip? A little. A babwa? Yes. Gee, I need to find a bomb. My other brother, the short one, not the one who gifted me a goat. He's married. She has maps, lots of maps. Mm. A babo. Of course. <laughs> Have you lost your country? My country? No. No. Uh, there it is. I don't think so. I've been... There it is. How did I not see that? Well, who needs maps, anyway? They're old and useless and add no practical value. Maps are how I see the world. I thought that princess <laughs> could go anywhere. Not this one. Yeah, yeah. Everything is better now. No one got hurt. You'd rather me be back on the streets stealing to survive? I thought you'd be happy for me. But all you cared about was that I used my last wish to set you free. Wow. Kid, I don't care nothing about that wish. This is about you. What's happening to you. You'd rather lie to somebody you love than give all of this up. You don't get it, Jeannie. People like me don't get anything except by pretending. I think maybe you don't get it. The more you gain by pretending, the less you're actually going to have. 10,000 years, I have never once, ever, called a master a friend. I broke the rules for you. I saved your life. And for what? You are breaking my heart here, kid. Mm -hmm. You're breaking my heart. Genie, no, hey, come on. Okay, so I don't have much to contribute here except for the fact that I can't get behind Jafar's logic on all of that. It didn't really make sense. It's like, well, if you kill him, how can you be certain that you ever find the lamp again? 
Like if I were him, I would hold him hostage. I don't know where, but I would have held him hostage and then I would have um, tortured him until he revealed where the lamp was. But you know, villains have to make mistakes. I like that the genie's like, you're breaking my heart here, but at the same time, and maybe it's just a problem with the story in general that has been kind of uh, built from the original animated as well. And I think I felt this way then as well, is there wasn't enough time it felt to really build the chemistry between genie and Aladdin enough that it would actually break the genie's heart. Because so far we haven't had we just haven't had enough time for there to be that kind of an emotional attachment, I don't think. And it just, I don't know, I don't, I've never felt the chemistry there, and I, I don't feel it here either. And I'm not, it's no dig on Latin. I still love this movie, and I love the original animated feature. I just, um, yeah, I just, I have a hard time believing that his heart is really broken. I can see how he's, like, disappointed. But breaking my heart, that seems excessive. Anyway, let's move on. What is he think? I'm the same as I always was on the inside, right, Abu? Hey! Are you kidding? Now, why would you rub the thing under the... archway? <laughs> If it isn't our Prince Ali. Ali. Or should I say... Nice. Aladdin. Cool visual shift. He's been pretending the entire time. Best just wrapped around him. There is no Prince Ali. Cool. There never was. He's nothing but a lying thief. I'm sorry. You're insignificant. An irritation I know. Here's the all is lost, officially. I Ensure your agonizing death by banishing you to the ends of the earth. No! No! no. She will never marry you. Make it stop. Good lord. Do you accept Princess Jasmine? Yes. Yes, I accept. Princess. Princess Jasmine, do you accept the Sultan to be your husband? Do not! <laughs> you okay? Yes! <laughs> said you should have left Agrabah when you had the chance genie for my final wish I wish to become the most powerful being in the universe more powerful than you it's actually not a, a bad gray wish area in that but wish. Gray area. most powerful being in the universe coming right up <laughs> <laughs> what have you done to me? Yeah. It's your wish, not mine. A genie might have phenomenal cosmic powers, but in itty bitty living space, you see a genie without a master goes back in their land. <laughs> Thousand years in the cave of wonders ought to cool you off. Third and final wish. I wish to set you free. What? Um, tell, tell me to do something. Um, get me some jams. Get it yourself? Get your own jams! 
My friend. Thank you, Jenny. I owe you everything. What are you gonna do now? Actually, there is this handmaiden that I would love to travel the world with if she'll have me. When do we leave? Also, I want children. <laughs> yes, two of them. <laughs> and Omar, three years apart. They will worship us both and ask lots of questions, and you will entertain them with stories and songs. Stop, thief! Your sultan commands it. Does that mean I'm in trouble? Only because you got caught. <laughs> So the ending wasn't quite as theatrical as the animated version, in my opinion. I mean, it was neat, but it felt like, I mean, I know that they could only do so much and they, and some of the stuff in the animated feature felt a little sexist, I guess. So. I do appreciate a lot of the changes that they made there, especially by um, giving like an encore version of Jasmine's song. I like that, you know, she stood her ground and they still made a change and then that led to him moving on to his second wish to become the most powerful sorcerer in the world. I think Jafar's a little stupid, personally. I think he's, he's kind of dumb, but I mean, that comes to the territory of being the villain, I suppose. My favorite contribution to this overall film was Nassim, Nassim Padrid. She is so funny. She is so funny and it doesn't even take much. And just, I just love her. She is my type of humor. She has a new show called Chad. I should check it out, but, but yeah, she is, she's my favorite addition to this storyline. I like elements. I, I feel like it's it's nice how in the end the thing that made it stronger was the fact that they gave Jasmine a much stronger victory. You know, it's like she made choices. She became Sultan. I think it's a little odd that he would just hand it off to her instantly, but I, you know, it's fine, whatever. Also in this and both versions, it's it's so funny to me how weird wishes work. It's like It'll basically your wish is something that could be materialized, but you can't actually change true realities of things. You're only just creating like illusions technically. Because Aladdin didn't actually have a kingdom. And then when Jafar became Sultan, you know, they followed the rules for like a minute and then they immediately turned on him. So Obviously, he wasn't really Sultan. I guess he was, but he really wasn't. So the whole thing is kind of, it's kind of funny. But in that regard, I guess that would have meant that when he became a genie, he also was just an illusion. It, it's, it's tricky. Just, I guess it works. It works when you're telling a narrative. So in that respect, it, it did what it needed to do. Overall fun. I like the new music added to it um, with Jasmine. I won't go speechless, very powerful. Great, great, great song. Yeah, I liked it overall and I, I think the overall consensus is the animated features definitely better, but this live action one holds its own and my favorite part is Nassim Padrid and Jasmine's you know powerful change in her arc and uh, giving her that cool song. So, all right guys, well, I'll see you next time when this dude does it again.